heard of Massive Attack and a band called Porter's Head. They're both from Bristol, they're both really famous. If you haven't heard of that, maybe jungle or, or drum and bass music. They're very heavily associated with Bristol and made using uh, techniques pioneered by the early hip hop DJs in New York. That's what that painting is telling. Exchange indoor markets opened up 
This building was designed by a very famous architect in this country, and particularly this part of the country. His name was John Wood the Younger. Here this guy and his dad, John Wood the Elder, who wasn't very good at naming his children. But these tables gave rise to two quite famous expressions here, particularly in our country. They're really called nails. And uh, the two phrases are cash on the nail or paying or to pay on the nail. It means either like you've done a really good deal with someone or you paid the right price for something. An example to use it in the modern times would be like, I don't know, if you go into Sainsbury's and your shopping comes to £19.58 and you give them £19.58 pence exactly, you can go, there you go, on the nail. And it means they, they know then that you've paid and you don't need any change back. You know? So that comes back to these tables. The Colon or Christopher Columbus, to give him his fake name, has come back from an island somewhere in Asia. It gives him an idea that he can sail further than Christopher, make it to the fabled Asian Spice Islands. If he can gather up some nutmeg, he can bring it back to Europe, selling to become a very rich man indeed. At the time, the route for the East was. <laughs> accessible point in the city of Bristol. That is the Wills building, it's part of Bristol University. This painting here has got two quite funny jokes behind it and I'm gonna have to get a little bit rude for a moment. Bit of one of the boys hair. The police would drive past, they get in trouble.
Yeah, the pub here was a, a favourite of uh, one of Bristol's most famous residents. His name was Edward Teach. For you guys in Bristol, it's certainly the most famous as well. And used it basically as the flagship for the rest of his career. It was a pretty weird... If From you know the, the story, uh, it starts outside Bristol, the land of the crowd. Jim Hawkins gets his man in the spelling of the village over on the river. with their captain called Captain Flint. They want to make the sport. <laughs> Made out of bricks rather than stone. The few examples you have in the city today are old industrial buildings, and this here is an old granary. And here you can see the nest. That bridge was built just over a thousand years ago by the Saxons, Brennus and Bellenius, who we saw on the side of the building, uh, St John's Gate just heard. On the other side of the road to where we are now is a very famous bar in the city called the Old Duke. It's named after a jazz musician called Duke Ellington. You can see a painting of him just up there. And it's a very special place in Bristol. It's the only pub in town to have live music every single night of the week. And also, it's finished now, but on a Sunday lunchtime as well. That way is another pub called the Apple. It serves all different types of cider, a very popular drink in Bristol. It's kind of like beer but made with apples. In there, you can find the strongest cider in the city. I'm <laughs> in. <laughs>